related to this question is um, you did write a book on the Vodayas and uh, Mysore is kind of has always been seen as the cultural capital of yeah. Karnataka. Yeah. So my question to to you would be that what prompted you to write the book on Vodayas and Vodayas themselves have a very complicated past. Uh, and um, uh, while you were doing your research, did you go through any, did you did you stumble upon facts or things that you didn't expect to find there, you know, had an aha moment or, oh, fancy that kind of a moment. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> would you like to share this? Yeah, no, that's a fantastic question. And so I uh, often say, um, my journey into writing and history uh, has been serendipitous. Uh, I never planned it. It was a very, very happy accident. Uh, I was a boy of about 12 or 13 years uh, of age, uh, studying in school, hating history, the way it was taught. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost uh, every history class meant kneeling down outside. I received such harsh punishments, uh, you know, basically for messing up history and uh, for which uh, especially my mother had to go to the history teacher and the school several times and fight and so on. So today to even imagine that I'm a historian is quite a shocker <laughs> for most people, particularly my school teachers. But, but around that time, if you remember in the 90s, uh, you had this serial called The Sword of Tipu Sultan on Doordarshan, yes. Yes, produced by Sanjay Khan. And that, uh, that, that serial, I think, upset a lot of apple cart because um, the, in its portrayal of the Mysore royal family, the, the Bodeyar Maharaja was shown as an obese, uh, yes. Richard was dancing with the... Corpulent, them. yeah, corpulent figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and dancing with the court dancer and uh, totally, uh, you know, emasculated and so on. And then this um, Maharani was shown as this very conniving woman who's always conspiring and so on. And about that, I think there were lots and lots of protests in different parts of uh, Karnataka, particularly Southern Karnataka, which was the erstwhile Mysore state, where after so many years after the dynasty, uh, you know, ceased to be in power, uh, the, the, it's still held in a lot of re regard and reverence uh, for the wonderful work that the Vodayar family did. A lot of, uh, you know, firsts to their credit, uh, probably the first um, you know, industries and the, 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 the base for Karnataka's socio-economic and cultural development that was established by the Vodiyars um, under, you know, uh, rulers like Nalvadi Krishnaraj Vodiyar and Jai Chamraj Vodiyar, some of the very, very, uh, you know, um, far-sighted divans like Sir Ranga Charlu, Sir Mirza Ismail, Sir, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, who went on to become Bharat Ratna, uh, Sir Sheshadri Ayer, so several such, uh, you know, stalwarts, Albion, Banerjee and others. So to show a, a kingdom which, um, which, you know, had this kind of contemporary regard uh, was something that was very, very deeply problematic. And so there were uh, spontaneous protests in different parts of the, uh, the state. And if you remember, there was also the studio had caught fire and yes. I think uh, Sanjay Khan. Sanjay Khan, yeah, he had an accident and there was yes. a, a scar which he had to cover up during the yeah, and yeah. the popular myth that was doing the round was this was the curse of the Vodiyar and so you, know, <laughs> you had portrayed him in a bad way and so yeah. he was paying the price. So as this uh, teenager who was looking at all of this, who, as I said, hated history in school, there was something about it which, uh, you know, moved me and I don't know what it was that I decided that I need to find out the truth behind this false representation. Uh, and it was a completely self-funded, self-motivated, self-initiated, uh, you know, journey and uh, which began more almost like a family project. My parents and my maternal grandmother and all of, the, uh, all of them would uh, accompany me. Almost every vacation meant going to Mysore, uh, meeting people of the royal family, meeting uh, some historians there, rummaging palace archives, reading books to first find out about that particular king and queen, uh, Immadi Krishnaraj Vadiyar and Rani Lakshmi Ammani. The, they were the two people who were shown the way they were in that serial. So, uh, uh, and never, never really Pujitaji with the idea that this should, I should write a book about it or I should become a historian or whatever else. It was just this childish curiosity and an inquiry for truth, uh, which led me there. And slowly that, um, that, that inquiry, it became, it turned into some kind of a madness, an obsession where the, the interest 
lingered on for 10 long years, even as I did other things in life, like uh, my engineering and my master's in mathematics or MBA or whatever else, this obsession for Mysore, its history continued to remain. And I kept going there. I collected so much information. It was just a very informal scrapbook kind of a thing that uh, I put together. I was also uh, good in childhood at painting and uh, making portraits. So a lot of sitting in the palace, it would be making portraits of all these Maharajas and so on. That's that's all it was. And after 10 years, when there was so much information gathered on the 600 years of the Wadiyar history, one of the longest reigning royal houses of India, I was also, I got to know that there was not a single book that encapsulated this entire period, uh, you know, written under one, in one concise, comprehensive manner. And again, one of the banes of Indian historiography where uh, the south of the Vindhyas uh, is hardly given a, a, a place in national discourse like the Northeast and so many other parts of India don't uh, figure significantly in the history of India. Even the Wadiyars, I don't remember reading about them in school Not at all. Yeah. At all. Uh, despite, as I said, they being like the Ahoms, one of the longest reigning royal houses of India. So that's when people advised me that you've gathered so much. So why don't you put this all together in the form of a book? And in 2008, almost yeah, close to 15 years uh, earlier, we uh, came out with my first book, uh, Splendors of Royal Mysore, the untold story of the Wadiyars. Hmm. It was an untold story because no one had bothered to tell it uh, before <laughs> that. So that's how the whole foray into writing into historiography began very, very accidentally uh, mm -hmm. as a happy accident. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. धन्यवाद नमस्कार